The C929, a groundbreaking new wide-body aircraft officially unveiled by Comac, China's leading aircraft manufacturer, is causing a seismic shock in the global aviation industry thanks to its unprecedented superior features. Many experts and industry observers believe that it won't be long before it overturns the dominance of outdated Western giants, like the Airbus A330 CEO, becoming the top choice in the international skies. But why could this Chinese jet defeat the Airbus aircraft? How does Comac step-by-step -step penetrate the Western market? Let's explore together. For many years, the Airbus A330 CEO has been a solid choice for airlines worldwide thanks to its high reliability, operational flexibility, and reasonable operating costs. However, China's new generation aircraft, the Comac C929, quickly overshadows the A330 CEO with breakthrough technological, design, and development strategy advances. No longer just a potential name for the distant future, this Chinese aircraft is now attracting the huge carriers around the world. How is it making that happen? The Airbus A330 CEO, specifically the A330-300 variant, typically carries about 277 to 293 passengers with a range of approximately 11,750 kilometers. This was once a major achievement for European aviation in the 1990s. But the Comac C929 has set a new standard by increasing passenger capacity to 280 passengers and pushing the range to 12,000 kilometers, sufficient for long-haul intercontinental routes like Beijing, New York, or Shanghai, London, without stopovers. This is a clear improvement, not just matching but surpassing the A330 CEO in operational performance. Besides, one of the most prominent features of the C929 is its use of advanced materials at an impressive ratio. Over 50% carbon fiber composites and 15% titanium alloy. While the Airbus jet still relies heavily on traditional aluminum alloys, which add weight and reduce fuel efficiency, the Chinese jet takes an entirely different approach. Lighter, stronger, and more fuel efficient. The adoption of next-generation materials offers not only economic advantages, but also makes the Chinese jet one of the most environmentally friendly commercial aircraft, something the CEO, based on 30-year-old technology, can no longer keep up with. Beyond its physical structure, the C929 also proves its class in integrated control systems. With 10 core systems, including avionics, primary and secondary hydraulics, communication, and navigation, it is designed as a smart flight control hub operating in real time. Meanwhile, the CEO, although stable, still uses a system architecture shaped in the late 20th century. Developed on the internationally certified foundation of the C919 program, the wide body jet achieves high manufacturing precision. More than 2.2 million components and 3,500 complete test sets, ensuring quality and reliability in all operating conditions. Some people say that this Chinese jet is a replica of Western aircraft, but regarding passenger experience alone, the Comac C929 once again demonstrates that it is much superior. Its cabin has a width of 5.5 meters, wider than the CEO, 5.26 meters, and even greater than both the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. With a flexible design, smart lighting system, multi-angle adjustable seating, and customizable cabin zones, this jet delivers a noticeably more comfortable experience, a crucial factor on long intercontinental flights. But this is what carriers care about the most, the competitive pricing. With a tradition of optimizing production costs while maintaining quality, China is clearly demonstrating its intent to break the monopoly of Airbus and Boeing. Though the CEO has a long-standing legacy, its operating costs are no longer a competitive edge compared to newer designs. Meanwhile, this aircraft benefits from a domestic supply chain and state-level industrial policy. This is the trump card that allows Comac to steadily penetrate the global market. With such outstanding features, is there a real possibility that Western Airlines might place orders for the C929?
Wait up. Thanks for sticking around until the end. Show your support by hitting like, sharing, and don't forget to subscribe to get notified about our super interesting videos. Thanks a lot. This is a question that has sparked considerable debate. In theory, the C929 holds great potential, but to turn that potential into reality, especially in markets long dominated by Airbus and Boeing, Comac will have to overcome a series of obstacles, not only technical, but also political, reputational, and psychological. First of all, Comac needs a successful trailblazer. The company is placing its hopes on the C919 to establish its name on the international stage, but the results have so far fallen short. That's why the burden now rests on the shoulders of the C929, China's first wide-body aircraft. However, if even a product like the C919, which has already entered commercial service, still struggles to gain the West's approval, then for a model like the C929, still under development, the road ahead is bound to be even more difficult. Domestically, this aircraft has a much brighter outlook. If we limit the scope to mainland China, domestic airlines will almost certainly choose this jet to replace aging A330. Even other airlines such as Hong Kong or Taiwan, the likelihood of accepting this domestically produced jet is quite high. But once it steps outside its home ground, this jet will no longer be protected by national preference policies. And that's when certification, reliability, and brand reputation become truly critical challenges. From a technical standpoint, it is still in the development phase, a long journey that includes prototyping, flight testing, evaluation, and certification. In light of recent events, such as Europe's refusal to certify the C919, despite the fact that it has already been flying commercially within China for a significant period, the prospects of Western approval for an aircraft that is not yet complete, like the C929, become even more uncertain. However, the current state of the market presents a special opportunity for the Chinese aviation industry. Both Boeing and Airbus are facing massive backlogs of wide-body orders, leading to delivery delays that can stretch for years. In such a context, an alternative like the C929, if it can demonstrate at least a minimal level of reliability, could potentially find a place in markets desperate for aircraft. This is especially true in Asia, where the C919 and even the first domestic aircraft C909 have already received highly positive attention from Southeast Asian carriers. Thus, even though the Western market remains a major challenge that is hard to overcome, the C929 still holds a path of its own. That path begins in Asia, in markets that demand speed, affordability, and flexibility, and from there, gradually expands its influence. The question may no longer be whether Western Airlines will order it, but rather what path Comac will take to make the world seriously consider the name C929. So after those challenges, what steps are necessary for Comac to take to penetrate the international market? This jet will require a strong global support infrastructure wherever it is operated. China must either develop such a system from the ground up or partner with existing global service providers to ensure comprehensive after-sales support. A well-maintained support network includes readily available spare parts, trained technicians, maintenance manuals, ground crew training programs, and 24-7 technical assistance. Without this foundation, even the most advanced aircraft will struggle to gain airline trust, especially when flying outside the manufacturer's home country. The Russian Superjet 100 stands as a cautionary example. It was, and still is, a technically solid design with competitive performance. However, its rollout beyond Russia was hindered not by its flying capabilities, but by its poor customer support ecosystem. Airlines that try to operate it abroad will be stuck with long delays for replacement parts and insufficient technical backup, ultimately forcing many to retire the aircraft prematurely. This highlights a critical reality. Airlines need the assurance that help is always available wherever they fly. For the C929 to have any meaningful presence beyond China, Comac must address this challenge head on. Building a global support network is not just a logistical task, it's a gateway to legitimacy in the global aviation market. 